you psychiatrist Does he beat around the bush? What's he prescribing you? Legs are pro, Xanax, it barely lets you function But you can at least manage a dose to dull the panic But now you never smile, the kids can't get you to play So they feel like they're on trial What's up everybody, I'm Skulls and today we're listening to Stink Fist by Tool now for anyone new here, I've been going through the tool journey in the chronological order. Unfortunately, I missed out on Opiate and I went right to Undertow. So as much as I wanna go back and listen to Opiate, I'm too excited after Undertow. Uh, it was a fantastic album. I loved it start to finish. I wanna see them grow. I wanna see where they go from here. I don't wanna go backwards. I wanna go forward, I'm sorry. Seeing a band start off that strong with a debut album that good it's just really exciting and to hear everyone just say they keep getting better and better that's mind-blowing but yeah i know this was like their big breakthrough album like everyone hails this one as a classic so i'm really curious and uh i'm really weirded out by like the song title names there's a lot of weird ones i mean this one for instance then we got like message to harry man back we got hooker with a penis but as much as everyone's hyped this album up and as much as I love the first album, I'm trying not to go in with unreasonable expectations. I mean, Undertow just really connected with me at a deep level. And sometimes evolution can be really jarring. But anyways, if you're new here, guys, what's up? Glad to have you here. Um, you should go back and check out my reactions to Undertow. Uh, I had a lot of fun reacting to them. But definitely consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people, and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's hop into Anima. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And start off with Stink Fist. far this is giving me more nine inch nails vibes than tool vibes especially in the way it's mixed um it definitely doesn't sound as chunky as undertow and it does have a more conventional feel compared to like how undertow opened up with intolerance i mean intolerance had a really weird uh rhythmic pattern to it this is just a four four time signature i believe as for the lyrics the first verse is something has to change undeniable dilemma boredom's not a burden anyone should bear Constant overstimulation numbs me, but I would not want you any other way. I mean, based off of those lyrics, it almost sounds a little bit like where Undertow left off with Disgustipated. If you saw my reaction, uh, the whole vibe I got was that he ran away from this machine that he was not happy with. It was the cycle that he was sick of, and he tried to get away from it when he ran into the woods and there were the crickets and everything. And now it feels like, oh, my eyes are open and something has to be changed. I can't close that door. I already opened it. All I can do is walk through it. And it's kind of weird. The lines, boredom's not a burden anyone should bear and constant overstimulation numbs me, but I would not have it any other way. It's almost like he's pointing out the two extremes and maybe, but I would not have you any other way could mean like, um, Maybe that he's trying to embrace balance into his life? I'm not sure. It's still early in the song. But the chorus is just not enough. I need more. Nothing seems to satisfy. I said I don't want it. 
I just need it to breathe, to feel, to know I'm alive. Yeah, so the hook's making me think that this is someone who is not satisfied with their current state of being, maybe? Right off the bat, this sounds like if it is a continuation off of Undertow, it sounds like Maynard in Undertow was recognizing that he has a problem, and in this one, it seems like he's seeking for a solution. And then the post-chorus, finger deep within the borderline. Show me that you love me and that we belong together. Relax, turn around and take my hand. Well, that's where the title comes in. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of like Four Degrees 2.0. Maybe he means that pain and pleasure is that, that we belong together. Because even with like how I'm thinking, they say that like when you tickle someone, uh, when you feel that sense of tickling, and you're laughing, that's actually a precursor to pain. It means the next thing you're going to feel is pain, if it keeps escalating. So maybe he's saying there's something about the pain that I need to embrace. Like, maybe it's a monster, but maybe it's a monster I can tame and use to my advantage. I don't know, it's still a little too early for me to, like, be really confident about it, but I'm just gonna continue. Alright, so even there too, like comparing this to Undertow, like I, 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 I don't want to keep doing that, but there are some big changes in the sound, I feel like, from them. And I just want to point out kind of what I'm seeing from their evolution from the last album to this one. Um, that whole section, that was a lot more atmospheric, it had a lot more room to breathe, um, it had a lot more textures and production going on there. Uh, I even think I said it while I was listening to Undertow in one of my reactions. I said, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of uh, production, like audio production there. It's more just them, very raw. But there, there was a lot of different sounds going on. There was a panning going on. And also the majority of that album, it was very much in your face all the time. And there weren't a lot of moments where it felt kind of like downtime. And uh, I like that they're creating more room for that. But the second verse lyrics, he was saying, I can help you change. Tired moments into pleasure. Say the word and we'll be well upon our way. Blend and balance. Pain and comfort deep within you. Till you will not want me any other way. Okay, so I think I sort of have it right. So he's saying blend and balance, which is what I was saying earlier. He's like searching for balance. And then pain and comfort deep within you. And it is a weird thing. If you can become comfortable with pain, um, you become stronger. You become more of a force to be reckoned with. You know, it's like it's like working out. Like when you first start working out, 100 pounds on the bench press might really fuck 
fuck you up, you know? But if you work out for like two years and you get your bench press way up there, when you go back to try 100 pounds, that just doesn't do shit for you. I mean, Maynard's giving off more of a sexual thing here, but I mean, he kind of did that for me with Four Degrees and there was a deeper meaning, but I do see what he's getting at. I won't read the chorus again. Post-chorus, he says, knuckle deep inside the borderline. This may hurt a little, but it's something you'll get used to. Relax, slip away. The lyrics are Portuguese slang that roughly translates to suck my dick, sissy. So yeah, this really does feel like an escalation of four degrees, but it almost sounds like Maynard actually was like looking at what people were saying they thought four degrees was about. And then he was like, well, that's not what that's about. And then he was like, well, I'm going to make that song that they think four degrees is. That's probably not true at all, but it feels that way. And if it is true, that would be funny as hell. <laughs> Interesting sounds from Danny there at the end. Yeah, this song really set itself apart from Undertow just in those quiet moments. There was a few times where they really slowed it down. They had more texture and atmosphere. And I really like that because that was probably my one, like, I guess, complaint. I mean, complaint sounds even harsh to me because it's so minute compared to everything they got right on Undertow. But uh, Undertow sounded... Uh, I guess a little bit repetitive. It was just always in your face like that. And there was only a couple quiet moments, but I really like this song. It has me excited for the rest of the album. Uh, Danny had some great work in this one. Uh, really good guitar work. Uh, I felt like the bass was riding with the guitar a lot of the time. Uh, I'll have to go back and listen. It's, it's a lot to just take in all at once, but I really do appreciate the added audio engineering the textures, a little bit more atmosphere. Maynard's vocals were mixed in a very different way from anything else I've heard. As much as I love the way Undertow was mixed and produced, I definitely feel like this is a step in the right direction. And I know Maynard loves to bury his voice and kind of make it just a uh, instrument, which is cool. I like that they all want to be kind of on an even playing field together, the entire band. That's really cool, that's really admirable but he has so much substance to what he's saying. I just want to hear it at the same time. So it annoys me a little bit. I mean, it's just like to me, like if you were talking to a really, really interesting person and whenever they talk to you, they kind of talked really low and like muffled. And it's like, you can't hear everything they're saying. So, and you're really trying to because you really want to hear what they have to say, but you just can't. And that's how it feels sometimes with Maynard. But at the end of the day, it's not a deal breaker. It's not even close to being a deal breaker. Before I was doing reaction videos, I was already looking up the lyrics and uh, trying to learn more about songs that I really liked. So it's not a big deal. And once I know them, I know them. But shit, I forgot to read the last bridge section and then uh, there's an outro section. Okay, so the bridge lyrics. Something kind of sad about the way that things have come to be desensitized to everything what became of subtlety how can this mean anything to me if i don't really feel anything at all i'll keep digging till i feel something and then the outro lyrics elbow deep inside the borderline show me that you love me and that we belong together shoulder deep within the borderlines
Relax, turn around and take my hand. Maynard is a sick fuck. Yeah, it's, it's cool that he uses these things as a metaphor to actually get to a deeper issue because, I mean, like, us as sexual beings, that's probably as uh, deep as you can go. We are sexual creatures. That's where we come from. That's what we're... That's what our biology is designed to do, to procreate. And pleasure and pain is a really good scale or spectrum to really find meaning in. And I mean, he even said it in the lyrics that he's he's digging, he's looking for something. I mean, digging, but... But yeah, it definitely feels like this song is about pushing your pain thresholds. Because maybe the more you embrace pain the more pleasure you get out of it. Maybe that's what he's trying to say. But regardless, I really enjoyed this song. Really strong start. Um, I hope that this is an indicator of where the album's gonna go uh, because I thought this was a good way to kick off the album. I mean, this sounds new and exciting, but it also still sounds like the tool that I've come to know off of Undertow. But yeah, that's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. I appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people, and I appreciate it a lot. And wherever you are, I hope you're having a good day, good night, and as always, I look forward to the next one. Peace.